How do I learn to deep throat so he won't leave me? I would like to know how to learn about deep throat. My boyfriend loves it, but I'm scared to vomit. Please help me with guidance. I'm now scared that he would end up looking for another girl. And I say, thanks for your question. There's a lot of advice I want to give you before we get down to how to learn to deep throat, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. Doing it because you're scared. Doing something because you're scared is usually not a good idea. Being scared into doing something is a sign that there isn't enough consent going on. Consent means having the freedom and the ability to choose. And in your question, it doesn't sound like there's very much of either. If he said that he'll leave you if you don't, then it'd be great if you could dump him first. If he broke up with you because you're scared of doing something, then he should not be having relationships with anyone. Power. Would it work the other way around? Imagine that you told him that you wanted to be deep-throated, or put a sex toy deep in his mouth, or that you wanted to sit on his face. Would he be writing to me, asking me for advice on how to do it, because he's scared of you leaving him? If not, you might want to think about what's going on in your relationship. Is there more at stake for you than him? Maybe there's a difference in power in your relationship. There is often a difference in power in relationships, and often this is to do with our identities. Because of sexism, women are taught that they have to give men what they want in relationships, but also in life. And men are taught to expect it. It doesn't always pan out this way. Yes, men readers, I'm hearing you, and I'm also a man, so shh. But I think this is something for you to think about. It could also be that you're less confident generally, or rely on the relationship a lot, or don't have a great relationship with yourself. But if you were to learn to deep throat because of these things, I don't think it's going to improve your relationship. Power to you though, I just want to say big up you. Thanks for asking me this question, a lot of my readers will be thinking about this kind of thing and hopefully this will help them. Also here's how to learn to give yourself some big ups. Has he just expressed a preference? So let's say that your boyfriend isn't making you feel like you have to learn about deep throat but simply telling you what he loves. It's okay for people to have preferences for what they would like and what they would not like. This goes for you too. Think of this as a scale. He said that he loves deep throating, so maybe that makes him like a plus 10 on the scale. If you didn't know that he loves deep throating, where would you be on the scale? And where are you on the scale now you know that he loves it? It could be that you're like a minus one on the scale, you kind of don't want to do it, but would nudge that up to a plus two or a plus three if you knew more about it. I will get to that. Or if you trusted him more, keep reading. But also, think of all the other different kinds of sex that are available. Here are lots of different ideas of different kinds of sex you might enjoy. Apply this scale idea to all of them. Which of those are you scoring at plus eight, plus nine, or plus ten? What kinds of sex do you love? Can he build trust? Maybe this is more to do with your boyfriend than your boyfriend's dick. Like I was saying above, if he's making you think that you should do this or he'll dump you, then I would like it if you dumped him, dropped him like a bad habit, put him in the bin, etc. But if he's actually good at consent and communication, then you might be able to have a conversation about it that might make you trust him a bit more. So could you chat about your concerns about it? We know that you're worried about vomiting, but are you worried about anything else? If you were to do this, are there things that he could do that would make this easier? For example, checking in with you during it, slowing everything down, not expecting it to go brilliantly the first time, giving you time to build up to it, talking about it and your relationship. You could also chat about what he likes about deep throating and what the term actually means. Is it something he actually likes to experience for himself or is it something that he fantasises about or watches in porn? There's more about blowjobs and deep throating in my A to Z of porn. Are there other things that you could both do that would feel sexy and enjoyable for both of you rather than you just doing a thing you might not like to please him? Like I said above, are there things that he could do for you that you really love but which he might not be super into? I don't think we should be making anyone do anything they don't want to for us, but sometimes it's okay for one person to do a thing for another. That's okay, as long as it's consensual. That is, you're freely agreeing to it, and not because you're scared. You could also talk about the relationships and more to build trust. If you knew that he was not going to leave you because you didn't throw it in, would you still want to do it? There are so many pages on here I could refer you to, but if you could both chat about what's going well in your relationship and the stuff you might want to work on a bit more, that would be good. 
start with the relationships graph and also have a define the relationships chat to make sure you're on the same page about what's going on between you. Also, you might find my brief guide to relationships useful here if you really want to do it. So if you really want to do this, try with something penis shaped first, say a banana or an ice lolly. Very, very slowly, see how far it can go into your mouth while it still feels comfortable. Just at the bit where it starts to feel a bit uncomfortable, go back a step to where it did feel okay and just hold it there for a sec. Take a deep breath in through the nose and out again and see how that feels. If all of that felt pretty rubbish and you felt like you were going to be sick, then deep throating is not for you. Some people are more sensitive to things touching the back of the throat or the roof of their mouth than others, known as gag reflex or pharyngeal reflex. Thanks, Wikipedia. Everybody's bodies are different and work in different ways, so some people can deep throat and others can't. If the above felt okay or even good, then you could try doing all of this with an actual penis. Make a note of how far in you could comfortably get the banana in your mouth by putting your hand around the banana against your lips. Then try to remember how much that was and put your hand around the penis in the same place. Or even get a tape measure out, and I'm only slightly joking. Keep your hand on the penis where you had it on the banana so that it doesn't go further than you want it to. Sometimes people with penises thrust. This can be because they're having an orgasm or little orgasms. Orgasm and ejaculation are different. Sometimes people with dicks thrust deliberately. So keep your hand on the penis, other hand on his hips or something. Also do it in a position where you're on top so it's easier for you to pull your head away. I think that's it from me about the actual deep throating. Here's an interesting article from Cosmopolitan of all places where three women talk about why they like it, how to do it and when not to do it. But in conclusion, please consider not doing this, especially if it's because you're scared of him leaving you. Try to think of yourself as an independent human with your own wants, desires and needs. You are not on this planet just to please men, so please don't make yourself be sick just to avoid him leaving you.